Hi there everyone! Welcome to my series called Book Reviews, where I talk about books that I've read in a particular year. This year I'm actually taking a little bit more of a um, strategic way of doing my reading. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to at least read two books every month, minimum. It's like, if I can at least read two books a month, I'll be happy. And um, the first one I ended up finishing, because I started this one last year, but I didn't end up finishing it until this year. And that is How to Vex a Vampire by Alice White. Alice Winters. Ooh, I don't know why I was going Alice White. Um, but Alice Winters. Now, Alice Winters is a new for me author who um, I had been recommended to because she does a series called uh, the Vampire Related Crime Series or VRC. And I was like, okay, I'll give her a chance. I'll see what she's all about. And by golly God, was she funny. Oh my God. There were multiple times when I was reading this book that I was just busting a gut laughing. Um, and basically this follows a guy named Finn who is a detective and he wants to be moved to the VRC, which is an entirely vampire led uh, group of cops who only look into vampire related crimes, vampire, VRC. Um, but being a human, he's basically seen as food, <laughs> but he is so much more suited for being around vampires than he is around humans. Um, mostly due to the fact that his father, his like pseudo father is one of the older vampires and is one of the most well, well respected. And his sister is also a vampire, if I remember correctly. But he ends up getting partnered with a guy named Marcus. And Marcus is surly as fuck. He keeps threatening that he's going to end up eating Finn, even though Finn is like, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> and the two of them are so snarky, so sassy together. And I was just living for it. And they end up finding out that this group is that this group is trying to uh, use a particular drug that will wipe out a vampire's inhibitions and make them feed as much as they can as viciously as possible. And Marcus ends up getting hit with it multiple times. Several people on the uh, VRC end up getting hit with it, and they end up basically investigating this whole thing and while they're not able to completely stop what's going on they are able to stop the main bad people and deal with them but all the while we're also dealing with Finn and his main motivation for joining the VRC and I was legitimately getting creeped out and um uneasy with this particular plot line because it does deal with stalking and a big reason is that a vampire had been the cause I don't know what the cause is but he was the cause of an accident that took away Finn's one of Finn's arms and legs so now he has a an experimental prosthesis on both one arm and one leg and he oh Oh, he falls for Marcus so hard and he is, while he is snarky with everything else, the minute that it comes to anything with his prosthesis, he always gets very kind of shut in. And I like that kind of juxtaposition of a character. And while he was a snarky little bastard, he was so endearing because he had that kind of raw fun that I look for in characters. Like you can't always be stoic. That's boring. You need a character that is a little bit of a sass or a ray of sunshine. Like one of the two I'd be happy with. But this was so good. I gave it five stars and I really liked it. And I'm super interested in one of the characters, Carson. Um, and I'm really, really, really interested in him. There's also another character named DeGray who I'm interested in. I know he's got a book. Um, I was a little perturbed that the next book is actually another Finn and Marcus book, but I'm interested to see where their story goes and then get to Carson and DeGray. 
Um, but because of that, I've also looked into more of Alice Winter stuff and I've already started reading one of them and I am still dying laughing because, oh my God, <laughs> this one actually makes me like want to scream because I'm laughing so hard. So that review will probably be a lot of just me like fangirling, like with Layla Rainey. Oh! But I thank you all for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.